Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about uh, splitting data into two columns or more than two columns using all tracks. So let's uh, see the examples. So here workflow name is new workflow. So first we need to uh, drag input data inside the workflow. And uh, let's take the uh, file. So file is in going to take CSV file and this is in our desktop and here the file name pqr and here this is the value so here you can see there are lots of uh, pipelines are there so here i want to uh, this all in the separate like employee id first name last name now if you press enter select once again and uh, when you select once again here you can see this data is now at the correct format now here after uh, for uh, splitting uh, uh, columns we need to drag uh, text to columns uh, or tools inside the workflow and if you like to know more details about uh, text to columns so here you get uh, split the text uh, from one field into separate rows or columns so by using a text to fill we can do this kind of operation like split the text from one field into separate columns or rows so now we need to stabilize the link and when it done here let's take one report text inside the workflow drag that and here after click this and here so uh, here you can see uh, at this place so a uh, phone number has uh, a dot and uh, number uh, divided uh, 514 and here after dot separated by the dots so I want uh, 515 in one place 1 2 3 like this value after dot uh, this value I want in separate columns so we can very do it very easily by using uh, this uh, here or uh, text to columns uh, tools so here or uh, let's uh, take uh, uh, here or uh, this going to take or uh, uh, not uh, this one the column name let me check once again or uh, not this one this is the phone number okay so we need to select at this places uh, phone number and here a uh, comma uh, that uh, uh, by default it's given so the phone number values that uh, are separated by dot uh, uh, delimited so here you can see phone number dot delimiter so we need to give at this place uh, uh, comma we need to give dot and uh, uh, since at here it's uh, separated into uh, three parts uh, so here we need to give uh, this on 3 and uh, here um, give the output num output root name phone number you can give and uh, when you uh, run the workflow so here you can see 107 records uh, it's come there and uh, when you go at this place here 107 and uh, here you can see this is the uh, phone number 515 that is in one place and after dot the value 1 to 3 this all in one place so it's uh, divided into the three parts so three columns so add here after when that uh, compiler that font dot uh, that I start doing the separation so separation so or uh, dot after there are two dots so here two separation it's come there so here after here this is the phone number one here so like this uh, you can uh, do the separation on uh, at here or job id so here job id if you want to uh, add in one plan one column pres in one column and it in one column to and uh, pro prog and in other columns so you can also do it very by using text to columns so here in uh, we need to select job id and uh, in place the delimited we need to give underscore 
so only uh, i want to divide or uh, there are two uh, place that i want to divide so we need to give at here two and uh, here job id you need to give and uh, extra character you need to give you need to select uh, leave extra in uh, last column so here now this is uh, job id and here this job id after doing this here you can see ad in one place it in one place pr in one place vp in other prog in other place so uh, like this we can uh, separate now let's uh, check about uh, higher date so if you want year in one column and month in one column and uh, or date in one column so you can choose uh, at here text to split so here we need to only select uh, higher date and here I used to uh, uh, slash so here give uh, this and hereafter this should be divided into three columns so you should increase this one and higher date you should give and here now here you can see three column extra that added so this is year now here this is the month and here this is the date and here time so by using this uh, split uh, uh, we can uh, divide uh, or we can add extra columns according to project requirement now here after you can uh, use this add here uh, split the rows a split columns it was there now you can use a split rows so higher date so here it was uh, split in in the uh, column wise okay added the columns now here you can add the uh, rows so let's uh, run the workflow and here you can see higher date So here a split uh, uh, So this is the higher date uh, now or uh, higher date it's come there a split ignore delimited in the court and uh, run it again And here you can see th the extra columns it's added now here you can see higher date so first uh, here year now that uh, displaying uh, month now uh, date here year month date year month date so like this if you want to separate uh, this into the rows job id add in one next place add in one next place you can easily do that so here you need to select only job id and uh, here after run the workflow so here you can see now we need to select uh, this part no extra column it's added to uh, okay job id has uh, underscore so we need to give underscore after that that will do the separation now here 107 and uh, 214 record it's a uh, loaded here you can see add place add plates it's all are separated so here by using uh, text to columns we can separate uh, or we can uh, split the rows uh, split the text from one field into separate rows or columns so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you